Hey everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy Masaki here. In this video we are going to continue down through the part of the, the start of, well, let me rephrase that, we are going to continue through the first half of the finale on Tasper. Although essentially Tasper is a decent bit longer than Corbin is, but yeah, I can start the first and the second half, because you go through Tasper, then Corbin, and then you're done. <laughs> So I'm going to get, like I've said, as much of this recorded in, over the weekend here as I can. I'm going to try to get two to three parts up a day still, so I'm going to be recording and editing my butt off this weekend. Getting this finished for you guys, I'm really sorry that I have to record this at all, because I had this all set just to be uploaded, and something happened. In the last video, I actually went a lot longer than I thought I was. I lost track of time around like 15 minutes, and I ended up cutting it off at like a half hour, but won't be happening for the rest of these videos. So, I said through here, we have another couple of, uh, is it? No, it's a Reborn, Force User, and a Call Test. Quick save there. And through here, we're going to have some more troopers to deal with here. Once you see the keep the up to deflect the shots from everything and avoid damage. And then take out all these guys as, as quick as you can. Heal that, quick save there. And press elevator before I have to just making sure there wasn't any other doors with like... Where we had that med pack and that... Well, we have like the shield boosters and everything that off to the side. So we've got an officer and a trooper right there off to our left, look out there. Guys over here. Now I'm still planning to take out every single uh, reborn and cultist in here. So we have a reborn with a staff right here to deal with. Take that guy out. Now that door over there is where it's supposed to go. Have to come out here. To come out here, you have a med pack right there and a larger booster back here. So you're probably not going to have much shield at the moment. You might need some health. You don't want to use your um. Heal if you have it, or if you don't have heal at all. There's a med pack up there and some shield to help keep you alive a little easier. And you're gonna have to this door. You've got an officer and a jetpack trooper here. Eee, wow! He went flying and his gun dropped right on top of me. That's pretty interesting. Let's jump up here. And you have a small booster there. Nothing else over here, but you know. Any um, boost to the shield is nice. Now he's coming here, you're gonna have a couple of troopers over here. To the left, right in front of you as you enter. An officer over here on your right. Don't forget with your core powers maxed out, you can push and pull down multiple enemies to the ground. And likewise, you can pull multiple weapons from enemies' hands at once. Ah, I'm sorry dude, you already died. You just went flying and flying at the same time. Now you come up here and you're gonna have a dual saber reborn that drops down. This guy is completely optional, you don't have to take him. Ah, oh, darn, he got me. I'm kinda curious as to how. Now, if I take all these guys out again, I'm gonna save before heading there to take him out for you guys. Oops, 
didn't mean to go into fourth sight, fourth sense there. I'm gonna quick save them while we're not gonna take out the sky. And the first just calling out a reborn, there is a reason for coming out here. You passed sat there just a minute ago. Ooh, I almost fell off with him. But the reason for coming out here to fight him is this. You have a shield charger right here to boost your shield up even higher if you need it. And that's really the only thing out here besides him waiting for you. Mud pack right there if you need it too. And run in, run up in here on this elevator. We have a staff reborn waiting for us right there outside the door. Now if you're using dual sabers like I am and you're having trouble blowing that move, you just crouch. Hit <laughs> fall down there, why don't you? Wow, really? You can jump up here? Alright, there we go. Alright, basically, if you're using dual sabers like I am and you're having trouble doing the twirl, you can't really perform it as easily as you do the, um, you can't perform it quite as easily as you do the, the rolling stab. And hang on here, I'll focus on the side of that because he's taking a bit of longer than usual. And I'll tell him once to get done there, okay. Basically how you perform it is a crouch. You see you can't, you crouch. And then like holding forward, you you crouch then and while you're holding forward, you hit attack to do it. If you want to stand up and do it, you kind of have to... You have to be crouching and moving forward while you're doing it, so... That's why it's a little more difficult. All three commands have to be hit together. Right through there, there is an officer facing away from you at a council, and to the right here, you have a reborn with a staff, and then to the left of the council the officer is at, there is a small shield booster, and back here on the right, past where the reborn drops down, there is a med pack. Fear me. So there's the officer and here's the reborn. You cannot hide. Now I'm not saying the twirl is an expert move, just that if you want to attempt Oh, what the heck. If you want to attempt doing it quickly, where you stand up and do it like that, it takes a bit of practice. I'm gonna come out here and I'll face you. Do you fear me? Because so even when I go to do it like this, where I instantly stand up and do it, I don't always get it paired off correctly. I'm gonna save now as he died. This is an officer who can just run in there and kill him. Because he's not gonna like turn around fast enough. And there's the med pack and the booster. Quick save again. Okay, and here's our first gray reward. As I said, the ones here on taskbar they use a single saber but they use the strong style which does the most damage to you per hit and can easily break through defenses of nearly every, like, nearly every block and defense you have. Not to mention they have level 3 core powers, level 3 heal, protect, absorb, lightning, and rage. 
and their lightning can last quite a while, so they can heal themselves, which is why you don't want to give them too much of a break. Although, you know, it is... Which is why, like, you know, I would say that it is not, you know, cowardly or anything to have to run away for a moment and heal if you need to. Now I just got lucky there with a Saber Lock and was able to win it. With a stab right after. Now I have a scene with Allura. You! So, the itty bitty Jedi has come to rescue his friend. That's so sweet. Where's Rosh? What makes you think he wants to be rescued? Tavion turned him to the dark side. Just like that. Where is he? Ooh, someone's getting awfully angry, aren't they? Forgetting your Jedi training. Look, Alora. Why serve Tavion? It's not too late to join us and fight her! <laughs> I'm taking Rosh out of here! Make it easy on yourself and tell me where he is! Oh, he's around. <laughs> I think I'll go look for him. As you can see there, she cut off some explosives, blowing up some of the room to hinder your path. They make you look for a slightly more you know, heavy. Well, it's basically just to kind of make you have to look around and find an alternative way up, essentially. And all these scenes with her is about two to th three or four total, including the end. She gives the sip typical Sith slash dark Sith slash dark Jedi responses. About you babbling your Jedi bullcrap and whatnot. Alright, in here we have a cluster to pair to deal with. I can remember most of these enemies coming up here, so don't worry too much. Quick save there. Coming here, you have a couple of creatures over here on these councils. That door is locked, so this is the door we have to head to. Oh, that is the locked door. Right, and here we're going to have another, the second scene with Aurora. Now this is like, melted metal or like, lava. And if you get too close to it, well, even without like, being touched by it, the heat of this alone will actually start damaging you every couple of seconds. You'll be weary of that. Alright, and now we have another cult reborn pair here. I have one with a save, uh, one with dual savers and one with a staff. And that's why I was mentioning being careful getting too close to the plumes there. Or uh, whatever it is pouring the melted metal and the lava. Because normally if you were just running through here, you know, you didn't have to fight anything. It wouldn't be as much of an issue. But it is since you do have to fight them. I will break you. Huh. If you notice, I'm making sure not to get too close to them on any side to avoid taking damage from them. And there's the second reborn. Now if you notice, there's a door right there, but that door is locked. It's the door back here you have to go through. I'm gonna heal. We're gonna go down this elevator and it's gonna take us into a cooling room that has two more of these reborns like this, a staff and a dual saber reborn. I probably want this to run cool death in here the way I did before. Back 
No. <laughs> Okay, so sorry I wasn't talking as much there. What happened in the original draft was like that first guy that I killed over here, I did this. And you saw that in slow mo, you saw me throw out his zap because I did a backflip killing him. And in slow mo, that was pretty damn sweet. Well, that was pretty sweet death. Because it's a force power death using lightning as I do a backflip at the same time. It's a quick save after taking them out. This would have originally been uh, potentially the start of this video, because it was actually the start of the previous of the second video in Taskbar before. Because I went up to 30 minutes instead of 20, I ended up being a little further into it. As I hear you see, it splits to the left and right. Both sides lead to the same room, and there's nothing, no enemies to fight either on either side or um, obstacles in your way. So take either path you want. I have another scene with a lore in here. And that's not going to be till after we come around here and jump up. Oh darn, I missed the jump. If I have enough force power to get up here. Cool, I do. Okay, she's over there. I had like no reason to jump across there. Here we go. I'll run across to that side. Are all Jedi as weak as Rosh? Or just Katarn's personal brats? Okay, and as you saw, a cultist walked up behind her as she finished. Oh, darn. We're getting up close to 20 minutes, but I'll probably go a little past it, because I'm going to probably cut some stuff out. Are you one of us? Darn it, where is this? Oh, it's up here. I wasn't quite as high as I used to be in here. Remember that about these, um, endgame cultist force users? Is that you choke a lot more often on you. Now, to take one out, and quick save there. These two doors at the back there are locked, so this is the door we have to go through. I think we're going to have another pair coming up. Checkpoint right there. Nope, just a dual reborn right here on this little bridge. Over the canyon. Ah, done it. I thought I was on lightning. Oh, that was not the smart thing to do. I wasn't even trying to do that. Yeah, she just loaded from the checkpoint. Would have saved about a minute. Basically, the main thing was trying to get off the twirl. If you want to do it standing up like that, is you have to hold crouch for about a second as you're hitting on um, attack and forward. Otherwise, you're just gonna. Otherwise you're just going to... Oh, I can't even mess it up now. Otherwise you're just going to go like that. Quick save. I think the second Grey Reborn should actually be coming up here. Well, no, not quite yet. Okay, in this room there's two troopers to the right and two troopers to the left. One of them's on the right. The shoulder pad has a missile monitor, so be careful. And there's one door on each side, but only the door on the right side here is the one that you can enter. Head over here, pick up these two guys, and give me place. 
going to pull all of these guys. More so for the purpose. Yeah, it's going to pull all these guys down. More so for the purpose of disarming them so they couldn't hit me with his missile launcher there. And I like the door you enter, but before I show you that, over here on the left, where well, he's right there by this door, there is a weapon rack with a med pack on it if you need it, and there is an ammo dump. Yeah, why not? I'll use to fill my concussion rifle further. Nice, nearly full. So again, there's going to be a cultist pair, or it could be a cultist with a force user reborn. You have to take down right as we enter here. Ah oh, man, it's a good thing I quick saved right there. So yeah, looking, there was a cultist and then a force user reborn. Oh great, I activated the other pair in here. So I have to take them out now. And this pair is just a cultist pair. A cultist for power, and then a, just a cultist for the favor. So I have to take out them. Then I'll end off this video. Let's see what you've got. Power from lightning. Is that good enough for you? <laughs> Tiny bit. Quick save. Now we have all those two pairs out. And up ahead there, through that door in the hall, is going to be the second Grey Reborn in Casper. Thankfully, there's only two here, and as I said, two in Corbin. But the ones in Corbin are slightly more difficult, and you'll see why when I get to showing you those videos. So, with that, all that said, Hope you guys have been enjoying these videos, whether you've been watching or playing along. Remember to subscribe and hit that like button. All of the likes just all the likes just help me know that you guys have been enjoying these and watching my videos. They don't do much else for me, and I will see you all in the third part of the finale here on Tasper. Goodbye.